All right, so for the past year, maybe year and a half, I've been having some issues with gapping my clubs and I've been working with Eric with it for, for, for a while. Like you guys would have seen at one point, I had two hybrids. At one point, I was like mixing my bag. Like I had multiple different iron brands in my bag. And I mean, it was the same brand, but different clubs. Well, maybe I never showed you guys that, then you wouldn't have known that. But if you had played with me, you have seen that I was playing like a mixed bag. And one of the reasons why was because I couldn't get the irons to fly the distances that I wanted them to. So I think we finally fixed it. Um, Eric and I came up with a solution. So t today I'm going to show you guys what is in my bag and what I've done to kind of fill those gaps. And just a disclaimer, right now I have 15 clubs in my bag. Um, I do have a way to kind of combat that and I know how I'm going to have the 14 clubs in my bag for when I'm playing tournaments. But for right now I have 15 clubs and I will tell you later how I'm going to get myself to have 14 clubs in my bag when I'm playing tournaments. <laughs>
Oh. Okay, so the two club switch I'm going to switch out based on conditions are probably going to be between my 5 iron and my 50 degree wedge, which is what I have right here. And the reason why is, so the 5 iron comes out a little bit hotter, it's a little bit of a lower trajectory shot. And one of the reasons why we wanted that is because when I play in windy conditions, for instance, like in Europe, it can be a good like... um like a tee shot club so if it's like a narrow fairway and i need to hit something shorter i can hit something like the five iron if it's into the wind i can hit the five iron it's going to run out close to about 190 which is what we found so i think that that would be a good tee shot club and with regards to the wedge <laughs> uh, with regards to the wedge uh i decided to go with taking out the 50 if i was to for instance, put in the 5 iron, and if I'm playing a course which maybe requires more accuracy with the wedges, I decided to take out the 50 because with the 50, I can always get my 46 to go the distance of the 50, but it's harder for me to get my 50 to go the distance of the 46 and gap that between the wedge. So it's much easier for me to have a longer club and make it shorter, if that makes sense. So yeah, that's pretty much what I have come up with in terms of my equipment for this year. Um, I'm, I'm excited to start competing again just to see how they perform and like I think one of the things that would be nice is to not have to worry about like what am I going to do to be able to hit this distance because I don't have a club that goes that distance and it'll be nice to just have like your equipment settled so if you have issues that's like swing related or whatever you can always work on your swing but it's hard like when I'm traveling and have to think about equipment like how I'm going to fix my equipment so it'll be nice to have the peace of mind to have like a set like clubs a set of clubs that i'm going to use for the rest of the season potentially for now and just be able to work on my swing and my game and take it from there so another thing that i forgot that has changed as a result of me changing my irons is that now i'm using the pro v1 ball uh the difference is previously i was using the pro v1x and just summary is that the pro v1 ball is supposed to be higher spin and the pro v1x is supposed to be kind of more of a distance ball so technically i lose a little bit of distance off my driver using a pro v1 but because these irons are a little bit hotter um, i think i benefit from having more spin on the greens and using the pro v1 i'm able to achieve that so yeah just a little difference that i will be in implementing in my game as well is changing to the pro v1 ball so and also another thing is that people often ask like does the ball make a difference and I think it kind of depends on your level of play but to me it does like i do feel like this generates more spin especially going into the greens so yeah play the right ball 